Well, Hillary Freeman has uh, faced years of, of these sort of questions, and if at some time it has been quite painful for her about her baby plans, and Hillary joins us now. So, um, lovely, you've got children now, haven't you? I've got a daughter. Got a daughter. Th 13 I've, weeks old. 13 weeks old, so very, very little. I think she... Oh, look at that. Beautifully well-behaved <laughs> and sound asleep. Very, very cute. So it's all worked out marvellously for you now, but you yeah. had a long time of, of trying to have a baby and not wanting to be asked about it. What was that like? Absolutely. Well, I, I had several years when I wasn't in a position to have a baby, mm. when I didn't want to have to go into my personal life to anybody who asked. And, um, and then when I did um, meet my partner and we did start trying, I had um, a lot of problems with... Um, uh, miscarriages and a stillbirth so it became very very painful when people asked mm. because I'm um, you know I had had a child um, but she wasn't alive and so it was very difficult to know what to say mm. so but I think anybody asking is obviously doing it because they want to be kind and they're interested making conversation they would be mortified I'm sure any of us would be mortified if we thought that asking the question actually caused that much upset oh sure people ask it as a form of small talk yeah exactly it's, you know what do you do for a living where do you live mm. do you have kids you know but it's the it's the implica it's the implied why don't you have kids when mm. when when you say no i don't um, and, and i don't think men get asked well, only women what, get that's asked. that's what i was going to ask you actually i wonder if men are as sensitive to this because mm. it seems to be mainly women that have reacted very yeah. strongly about being asked and do you think it is because sometimes women feel that if they haven't had children there's sort of an implied failing there when they could ask that question yeah, I, I mean, I think, I mean, it's inherent in the word childless, isn't it? Mm. That you're there's some, something lacking in you. Right. And I don't think that men are, are expected to have children in the same way that women are. I think um, it is just something, you know, you, yes, you know, we are, we're, we're, you know, we are allowed to, to have jobs and, and to be independent now, but we're still expected to have children as well. And, mm. and if we don't, then so, there's something missing. So what would be the best way for people to approach the subject mm. with you? They care about you, they could see you mm. obviously love children. Would you, can they, is it just a no-no, no-go area, or was there a way people could approach it that I, wouldn't have upset you? I think it was, it was more strangers that, that, that was a problem rather than people I knew. People I knew knew the situation. Mm. But I think it's also, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm a very open person, mm. so I was, I, I didn't want to, you know, say none of your business or, mm. you know, come up with some joke you know I've got friends who'd say things like well you know not that I know of or you know I've got a dog or whatever instead but I always felt like I wanted to be honest and um, and you don't want to you don't want to embarrass other people or hurt other people's feelings by you know telling them your sub story. Do you find when you're out with baby now people strangers come up and ask if you're going to have another one? Um, yes, well, the, the question I have that's, that's difficult now is, is she your first? Because I never know what to say to that, right. because she's not, but yes. I don't have another living child. But yes, I, I haven't got the, are you going to have another one yet? But, I mean, you know, quite frankly, it's very unlikely. I'm 44, so... <laughs> but, and what would your response be now? What would you, would you, I mean, would you have the confidence to say to people, do you know what, it's kind of none of your business? Like, um, you know, which is the, you know, the implication of the Facebook post. Yeah, I don't, I just, I, see, I don't think... That, because I don't think people mean it in a bad way. Yes, they're, not, exactly. they're not meaning to make you uncomfortable. I think saying none of your business is kind of rude. Mm. So I wouldn't say that. But I think, I think it's more you know, the onus on people sh you know, to think before they ask the question yeah. rather than for the, for the person who answers it to have come up with a snappy answer. It's definitely what, food for thought, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And your gorgeous little girl is more than enough. She's so beautiful. She's beautiful enough for 20 children. Look at that. She's even got a mirror there to check out her beauty. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Lovely to chat to you this morning. You Thanks Thank very much you. indeed.